Hi, VR designer Chris here, and in this video I'll be talking about the early designs of the Sirocco. The Sirocco was designed in Season 2, so there was much less of an exploration phase to determine what the MCRN fleet of ships would look like. We already have the Donager, Morgan and Corvette class designs completed. So when designing the Sirocco class assault cruiser, we have plenty of other MCR and ships to reference. This was the first batch of sketches that were made by Northfront for the Sirocco. On the right, we have the Doniger and the Tachi for relative scale comparison. On the left, we have six different sketches for the Sirocco. I find it interesting that there is a cone layout next to each sketch. Most of the designs have a three cone layout, except for design E that has a four cone layout. On design A, we can see a label for the torpedo tubes, PDC, rail cannon, and APC, which stands for armored personal carrier. That's basically where the dropship goes. We then get this piece of concept art, which seems to be a variation of sketch B. It has three drive cones, and on the right we can see a scale comparison with the Doniger and the Tachi. We also got labels for the breaching pod, rail cannons, PDCs, torpedo tubes, and the dropship, which is locked in. After this, we get these turnarounds of the Sirocco, and it's starting to look like the final render. These designs were made in 3D, and Northfront does this quite often. We also have some scale references with the Sirocco next to the Doniger, Nathan Hale, Anubis, and Rossi. We then get this colorized piece of concept art, and here is one with alternate views on the right, which are noted to be raw renders. This design still features three drive cones. Now, do you wonder why I keep bringing up the number of drive cones? Well, I was trying to foreshadow something because after this design pass, there was a review and feedback was given. The notes given was to change the design to a four engine drive cone along with making the railgun not so exposed and shorter. Another note was to make the dropship more visible which leads to this final design. There are now four drive cones. The dropship hangar is more visible and the railgun is much smaller. I'm going to switch the designs back and forth so you can see the differences. Here are the final turnaround renders. These type of turnarounds with side, top, and bottom views are quite useful, especially for the VFX teams who will be rebuilding the model. There was also this render made, which is a close-up of the docking bay, railgun, and breaching pods. Also, check out that docking arm holding the dropship. Why don't we look at some Sirocco dropship concepts, starting with these set of turnarounds. We have some labels for the PDC, a heavy gun, hatch, rocket tube, and over there there's an arrow that points to the bottom of the dropship. It notes that the bottom is shielded for atmospheric entry. We also have this cross section of the dropship with a flight deck, an airlock hatch, power armor clamps, and we have some regular looking Marines who are next to some bulky ones who are in power armor. Finally, we get this render of the drop pod landing on the surface of a planet. I was able to find some still images of the final dropship VFX model that was created by Rocket Science, the VFX vendor. Here is an image of the dropship in the hangar bay. Here is the bottom of the Sirocco with four drive cones, not three, but four. Here are some more images of the Sirocco VFX model. These are some awesome turnarounds. I even found some fully textured assets from the Sirocco. How cool is that? I can imagine that these assets could be used to kit bash to make new MCRN ships. I also want to address people's comments on my videos about what ship they would like to see next. And I want to tell you guys I plan on doing all the ships, it just takes time, so subscribe and hit the bell. If you want to support me, 
the channel, and the videos I create, please consider checking out my game on Steam called The Indigo Parallel. I'm currently at 910 wishlists and my goal is to get 1k wishlist before the release on November 24th. So please help me reach my goal and add the Indigo Parallel to your wishlist and thanks for watching.